Hey, what's up you guys? It's Tim here from Review It, and today we are actually doing a review on the Razer Orb Weaver Gaming Keypad. Now, this is a mechanical switch gaming keypad, and it does have 30 programmable buttons, um, which makes it very easy to customize it to every game that you have, and you can easily switch through profiles on the fly, which is also very, very nice. So, let's uh, actually take a look at the physical dimensions of the unit, then we'll go into more of a feel of the unit within that little segment, and then we'll get to uh, the actual software and how easy it is to switch through all of the uh, programs and buttons and everything. And then we'll get into some gameplay of me actually using the unit in Battlefield. And we'll go ahead and wrap it up as to why I recommend this for people to actually get instead of just using a standard keyboard. Let's go ahead and dive down into the review. Alright, so as you can see here, we do have the Razer Orb Weaver. I do have it sitting on my Razer uh, keypad that I, I mean, mouse pad that I have here. So I do have the extended mouse pad to actually accommodate for one of these, which is great. Um, so you do have a nice little rubberized texture right down here and another rubberized texture here. So that when you're laying your hand on it, it is very, very comfortable. These are both adjustable, which is very, very nice. So you can move this out. You can tilt this a different way, so if you have a bigger hand, um, but I have it adjusted perfectly for my hand. And then you can see you do have a little analog stick here, a button up here. A sp this you can map to anything, but I have it mapped to spacebar just to make it easy so I can slam on this to get and hit space. And then you do have all of the keys up at the top, so there's 20 keys up here. And this you can use as a four-way a four directional analog, or you can use it as... Uh, individual buttons as well so that's another great thing you do have a nice little LED indicator right up here so this will show you what mode you're in and you can easily switch through all of these you do have a nice little cable nothing fancy it's not braided or anything like that but it is still a very very nice cable high quality as well now this the build quality on this is actually very very good in my opinion it's actually better than the Black Widow Ultimate that I have just because of that rubberized texture, the nice little rubberized keycaps as well, but it is very, very, very nice. Now let's actually go ahead and dive down into the software aspect of this and see how you can actually adjust all of these buttons, even the buttons on here. So let's go ahead and dive down in to that. All right, you guys, so we are transitioned over to my computer. As you can see, this is my desktop. PC Master Race is life. No, I'm just messing with you guys. I've always just owned a PC. I've owned a console for a little bit, but hey, so be it. Now, um, as you can see on the notification bar right down here, a lot of people know where to get to, or actually how to get to this. Then if you right-click on Razer Synapse, you can see it actually pops up right over here. Quick menu where you can actually change all of the presets that you have loaded on the Orb Weaver. Now if I open Razer Synapse, you get a little bit more of an in-depth view. So right now it's on the side view, so I can easily change the buttons that are on the side. And you can actually see that little key map lighting right down there. So I can easily change the key maps if I want, and it actually changes on the fly right over here, which is very cool. Now... You can have eight different key maps for every profile. So I can add as many profiles as I want, and I can easily change through those profiles, but I can easily hot swap through eight different key maps on those. If you only play eight games, hey, you can just use these as your profiles, so, so to speak. But when it comes to the adjustability, there is endless possibilities on this. Um, so let's actually look a little bit more so into the top view, just because this is what I've actually changed. So I do have this change to escape, which is normally F1. Um, but as you can see, I did change that over to escape just because it's a little bit easier for me. And then I do have control shift. So these are very easy to change. If I click on one of them, you can actually see this is set to default. I can do a keyboard function, mouse function, macro, inner device, switch key map. There are endless possibilities. One thing that's cool as well is I can disable that button entirely if I don't say want to use the bottom row I can just disable all of these and just use the top ones now when it comes to the profiles it is very easy to switch profiles you can have it set so that it, you can change a button on here to change the profile or you can have it linked to a program now I have this one set to battlefield 4 
I do have to update this, update this to Battlefield 1 just because Battlefield 1 is out and I do play that a lot more often. But I normally use this mainly for Battlefield. That's one of the games that I do play very often. Now if we go to the lighting, you can actually see you can have it pulsate, which it'll start pulsating over here. Or we can just change the brightness. So if I go all the way up to bright, you can see it get brighter, but I normally leave it on dim. Sometimes I change this so that it'll turn off the lighting if it starts bothering me at night or anything, so that when my display goes out, it's very easy just to turn that off. You do have an add-on as well, so you can use this Orb Weaver add-on. Uh, this is primarily for World of Warcraft, just because they already have presets that a lot of people use that it's just very easy to get used to. One reason why this is such an important thing for gamers is because a lot of people change uh, their keys on their keyboard and you have to constantly be switching back and forth. Whereas I can just leave this on some crazy preset and I can still pop right back over to my Razer uh, Black Widow Ultimate just to do normal day tasks. Um, it's also great just because this is a mechanical, and if I do like typing on a chiclet style, I can easily have a chiclet style keyboard and then just use this for gaming because gaming with mechanical keys is so much better. Now, let's actually dive down into some gameplay of me using this on Battlefield 1. Let's go ahead and hop right over to that. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and hop into a game of Battlefield so you can actually hear this unit as well as see me using it. And just to get a little bit of gameplay, just so you guys can actually see. And if you guys do like some gameplay, hey, maybe we might upload some gameplay videos. Maybe if we get any, like, insane kills or anything. We might. We might. We shall see. But let's go ahead and jump on in. I do actually love this game as well. I love playing this. I wish I had more time to play it. I really do. But let's see. When we load in... And I will show you some of the little nice things that I have this thing programmed to do. Let's see if it'll load in. Round starting. Gonna hop on in on the horse. We're gonna capture a flag and probably just go get into some gunfights real quick for you guys. Just so you guys can actually hear this unit in the mic. See if we can cap this really quick. I'll probably go cap maybe D, why not? Very fun game mode. The graphics on this are extremely nice. Extremely nice. Alright, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Alright, we're good with that. Probably gonna try to take me out. In one of those planes, maybe. We'll probably head over to F, see if we can get in some gunfights. Oh, no, maybe not. If I run this way. No, let's go to G. See if we can cap this before they get to it. Look at the graphics on this, man. That's crazy. Love this game. Just about impossible to play this game when you do have something like this, though. To be honest. Let's see if we can get into a position to see him. And take him out before he, before he sees us. As you can hear, it's it's really not too bad. Sound wise, I do have a O ring mod on this as well, just like my keyboard. But we'll go ahead and hop out of here. 
and we'll go to the conclusion of this recommendation on this unit so we'll go ahead and hop out of here all right you guys so as you can see we went over the physical features of this unit the software as well as some gameplay just so you can see and hear it in use so you guys can really make your recommendation or your feeling about this unit based off of those things but it is very easy to use it is modular so i can highly recommend it just because you can make it suit your needs whereas you're not limited to just having a keyboard that is pretty standard. Now that's one big plus, it is very comfortable over long gaming sessions as well, so I can highly recommend that. If you guys do have any comments, questions, or anything, feel free to leave a comment down below. We love replying to them, and we will get back to you as soon as we can. If you guys like the video, give it a huge thumbs up as well as do not forget about that uh, 100 subscriber giveaway that we are going to have once we reach 100 subscribers. The information to actually enter into that giveaway uh, is right down below. We are gonna be giving away a Corsair Qatar mouse, so that's gonna be one very nice mouse for someone to get. You can even give it to someone else if you do win it, so that's another great thing as well. Again, this was Tim with Review It. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and look forward to the next review.